DJ George Chuck, what is the groove? I am going to tell you this. I had a absolutely great time grooving in Tunica. Uh, it's not my first time going to the Mississippi Policy Conference. Uh, definitely won't be my last. Um, as we have some of our friends that are backstage waiting, uh, we also had one of our friends and uh, and fellow brothers of the turntable uh, at the conference. But there, there is a larger community of people that that are there that pulled me to the side to say a few things, right? Uh, one, you know, it was like, hey, so great to see you. Um, glad you could be here. Those types of things, like, you know, being cordial. But then there are some times, there are some moments where you have someone that says, I've been waiting for the opportunity to have this conversation with you. And it might catch you off guard a bit um, because you, you never know where that type of opener might lead to. But this person, they said that, they wanted to let me know that they value what we do here at Nightcap Knowledge. I was like, really? I didn't even know you watched. Um, and sometimes we can, we can, Mac and I, we can bring guests on, we can talk to them, we can have conversations, we can ask questions, we can give decrees, and we can ask people to, to show up and volunteer for certain things or participate, uh, you know, come to an event, whatever, right? Sometimes it's us going to an event and someone says, there are a lot of eyes on you. Keep, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, keep speaking truth to power. And we can't say some of the things that need to be said because of the seats that we sit in, you know, some, some may say that's the perfect spot to say certain things. Um, but it, it definitely affirmed what we do at black with no chaser and what we do here on this podcast with nightcap knowledge. And that was not the first time that I heard that it wasn't the last time that I heard that during the, the couple of days that I participated, um, in the Mississippi Policy Conference uh, coordinated by the Congressional Black Caucus Institute alongside of or in tandem with the Mississippi Black Leadership Institute facilitated by One Voice. So, Mac, I'll say this. Tonight's episode, as I throw the graphic back up, uh, is about, of course, a celebration of reflection reunion because there's been a lot of times that a lot of us haven't you know been on the same screen at the same time and then we're talking about new beginnings i believe by next year this is this is my prediction nightcap knowledge as i grab my uh fancy cup get your cup ready mac i don't know if you got one or not by next year next year's policy conference and I got my water too. Not only will Black with No Chaser be there, Nightcap Knowledge will be there. I, I see you with, you got some Terramana and some hair dur. <coughs> Excuse me. Glenn Levitt, 15. All right, I see you. Not only will, will Black with No Chaser be there, and, of course, at all of the other uh, influential conversations uh, where we can ask the tough questions, because I feel like sometimes some of the tough questions, they're not being asked in, in these particular situations, right? Um, I'm not a politician, but I'm political. I am not an elected official. I got mine already poured up. I, I think I'm drinking Wolford. Um I'm not an elected official, but I like to hold elected officials accountable. 
Uh, I want to make them feel uncomfortable. I want to uh, hold them to the things that they campaigned upon. So with that being said, I'm saying that Nightcap Knowledge will do a live broadcast along with multiple DJ sets at a number of political and policy events and conferences within the next, let's say, 12 months, or we could say the next 52 episodes because we do this every Tuesday, right? Let's say somewhere around those uh, those numbers. So cheers, sir. That's the groove right there.